Hey guys, it's Wolf of Valhalla Gaming, and we are back with Timberborn and our little city of... I don't know what to call it yet. We'll, we'll figure something. We'll figure something out. But we need to get some more stuff figured out. And by more stuff, I mean we need a dam up here, probably. And we need... This dam right here is giving us enough power for our plank. So we have a quaint little village going on, but we need to figure out some stuff. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to figure some stuff out. So let's see. Where... Oh, God. Okay. So we have carrots. My farmhouse is reach right there. Yeah, we have plenty of carrots. Um, hmm. Well, everything right here is pretty much useless. That's good. You love that. Love to see that. Okay, so where... Where can the... So right here. So we're just going to get rid of everything from that side. Over so we can have some more housing. And then we're going to get some platforms. We need to get some more housing because right now we have... We don't have enough beavers for the jobs here, so we need we need more housing. That's what we need, and we need to extend our paths, I guess, over here, because now that extends our walkway, which means we can build a hmm. Ooh, there's there's mines. Ooh, and they call that a mine. So if we dam this one up, it'll make the water rise a little bit over there and sink more over here. This one's already dammed up. Where's the water sources over here? Are they just flowing in from somewhere else? They're flowing in from over here. Okay. I'm trying to get a sense of where all the water sources are coming from. We're gonna definitely need to start building out onto the water though. All of the land is going to become farmland. It's just, we're gonna end up with a lot of farmland. Uh, we just gotta figure out how we're gonna do it first. So let's see. You're making planks. Let's get some platforms. A hundred and a hundred and fifty. How much science do we have? We have enough for a singular one. Which I mean we could do right here, I suppose, but there's no fun in that. We'll just wait until we get enough science for the next one, but we do need more housing. Right meow. So let's do it this way. Yeah, we're going to do it this way. We're going to do some housing. We'll throw it on the back end over here. Like this. And we'll throw some platforms down. And a staircase. Ooh, not enough science points. I forgot we're going to need the staircase too. I'm stupid. So we need 70 science points for that. Mm, okay. Let's get rid of these for now then. That's the wrong button. I'm not good at this game. Okay. For now, we know what we're gonna do. That's just for later. For now, we can just put some houses on this side, I guess. Where is... Oh my god, where's the button? Home. Housing. There we go. I will just smack three more down right here, and they'll just be neighborly neighbors for our little cottage we got going on. Let's fast forward through the night. The night's kind of boring. Not too much happens on the night. Kind of waiting to see when our next drought's going to come hit us. Also kind of excited to see if I can get a dam built across that how far that'll extend my pathway that way. Cool, so we're gonna get some more housing built. These are gonna get removed. Oh, that's a farmhouse that could've... This farmhouse is gonna end up getting deleted just because these two are our primary ones now. Farmhouse was just all up in the way and that opened up some room for some more housing over here. And of course it doesn't fit um, I hate myself. Well, well, we'll find something else that fits right there. Maybe one of these triple lodges or something. But now we have one unemployed beaver. Ooh, do, 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 do. 
We'll find him a job soon enough. And look at our trees. They're starting to get planted. Yes, yes, yes. Plant all the trees. I forget what pines. So these are our pines. It's our birch. This is what our maple. And this is chestnut. Okay. Sounds about right. See, we have our planks over here. I would like to move planks closer to our actual forestry, though. If that makes sense, I would like to have everything kind of close together. Because right now, Lumberjack has to cut down the tree. It has to get transported here, and then it gets transported here, where it gets transported back to storage. It's not very efficient right now. We need efficiency. On a side note, the dam is coming along slowly. Which means that should block off some more water in this area. We're going to have to figure out how to get to that, that mine right there. That's end game stuff though. We don't really need that just yet. Mm, there is not a lot of land to work with. I should have played this map before I actually started the video. Oh well. You live and you learn. We get plenty of logs. We have 71 logs. That should be enough for all this. We'll get some housing finished right here. Now we have two unemployed beavers. Oh no. What are we going to do with them? Some mirrored lodging here. Yep, just like that. And those beavers will just do what they're going to do and continue that. Hmm. Okay. So, they're almost done with this dam. It's forcing the water through right here. Which means we'll have a nice river. Nice thick flow of water coming through there. That's the words I was looking for. Oh god, what's wrong with me? Early stages in this game are kind of slow and just take forever. But since we're here... Where I can get up here, can't I? Ooh, and I have beavers that aren't doing anything, which means I can build more inventors or science. Give me the science. Yes. Let there be science. Okay, so we only have one unemployed right now, but as things go along, he'll end up being a... Uh, We'll get some more science flowing, and it'll really just figure... It'll make everything go faster. Yeah, that'll be nice once we get all the science figured out. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And they're about done with that. Like four more logs, and they'll be done. Let's get another water pump in here. Yeah. Because we're about to have a lot of... We have three children plus an unemployed beaver, so we're going to have four jobs. Yeah. Something like that. And they should just build things in order, so we're going to build this guy. Hey, there we go. Which means now the water should back up over here a little bit. And start flowing a little bit more evenly out of here. Yep, there we go. Just like that. And just like that, there was less water over here. <laughs> Perfect. Kind of. I don't know what I'm going to try and do on this map. I really don't. I'm trying to brainstorm right now. So if y'all have any ideas, please let me know. Ooh, we have many houses now. Mm. And what, they're building the inventor's huts right now? Okay. Inventor's huts are getting built. How much can you reach? You can reach everything. What if I put two of you, though? Well, the, the trees... You're keeping up with the trees that we planted, so I don't see any reason to have more than one lumberjack right now. And our foresters keeping up with everything. Okay, 
yeah, Forrester's keeping up with everything, and so is our little friend there that's cutting them down. Though we could kind of circle all the way around here and make all of this more forestry land. We're going to need a lot of wood, especially on this map, because we're going to be building some pretty tall plank, or pretty tall platforms by the looks of it. I was thinking kind of modeling the city itself, or at least a district after, uh, I don't want to mispronounce it, Telech Telechlikon? The Aztec city. I can't remember. Uh, the Aztec city that was built on top of the lake in Mexico City. I think it'd be kind of a cool thing to try and build. I don't know. Y'all let me know if y'all want to see that. Or if y'all think it's a good idea. Or if not. Because I think a lot of beavers would enjoy living right on top of the water. And we can just keep our water pumps and stuff right here. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I did a mistake. Oh god. Water tank. I also figured... I've been watching some videos, so... To make things more efficient, you should zero these out, I guess. Is the way it was always the way I've heard. And then we'll up the priority on you. That way they build you first. Uh, we have one job right now. What is our one? No one employed beavers in district. An inventor. Okay, I don't really care. Can't get required materials. What are you? Oh, that's the other inventor's hut. Lumber mill. Unable to get it. Yeah. And then water pump. Can't, okay. Not a big deal. We'll fast forward through the night. And it'll be day cycle 3, day 10. Which means we've already hit two, three droughts, I think. Two droughts. Cycle 1 was the first one. Cycle 2. Yeah, so two droughts already. And we're doing decent. Uh, my worry and only worry is having too many beavers and not enough food or water by accident. Which is why I'm trying to expand food and water just a little bit. Can put some more water on this side because this is where the water comes from. And we're a bit closer on this side than we are over here. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. What if I moved forestry over here? Because right here has running water, which means I could turn this into the water wheels, like over here. Hmm. That is an idea. That is, in fact, an idea. But currently, we don't have enough beavers for what we're trying to do here. So we got... Whatever that is, and did it, did it, oh, there's the three-day timer. So we got three days to get our beavers in order before the next drought. And once we figure out the next drought, they will also figure out how, uh, how long it's going to be. And if I should probably make some more of these water tanks, to be honest. We didn't even have to stop pumping last time, if I remember, though. Our water source here is quite large. So I won't put two tanks right here, but I need to get rid of this one for this to for this to be in place. So that needs to hurry up and get built. But our trees aren't growing fast enough. We have a lumber problem. Hmm. Interesting. We have two days to get it built. I'm not too worried about it. Now, when we have like 200 beavers and we pump two or three levels of water out at a time, maybe I'll start getting worried. But honestly, as long as I can build out to the center and tee and tee everything down, this will be a, just a massive water tank. Something I did realize, I, was, I started a playthrough with the Iron Teeth or whatever their nickname is. Uh, realized that they have pumps that go six blocks deep. These guys only have pumps that go two blocks deep. And they have industrial log piles that can be stacked on top of each other, so... I feel like it's easier to play as them than it actually is to play as these guys. Oh, we have to 
stock zero. Okay, there we go. Then we can delete you and put a path in here. There we go. Uh, we have one unemployed beaver currently. He'll figure out a job eventually. Not too worried about that. Uh, there's only one warehouse, so I guess putting the desired really doesn't matter over there right now. Oh, the snoring. That's kind of weird. So we got room for one, two, three. Oh, they make weird noises like four, five, six, like six more beavers. There's like four babies, so we'll see what happens. Oh, one grew up. Somebody died of old age. Oh no! I can't be letting my beavers die of old age. And that's why we have carrots. I think carrots... Carrots add 30% to their life expectancy. That's a lot. That's a whole lot of years for a beaver. Actually, how old are my beavers? You're 49. You're 3. You're 8. And you're unemployed. How dare you? 23. Works at the farmhouse. Jeez. So we have a 50-year-old beaver. Is that you? No, you're the 8-year-old. Where's... where's so, oh, the, why do the babies sound weird? You're 32. 28. Oh, this one. You're 50. We have a 50-year-old beaver. 21, 23, 51, 9. We have a 9-year-old and a 15-year-old being our inventors. That's, that's where you want science to come from. The children. The children are really good at science. I don't even know where the logs that we need are going right now. Ah, oh, they're going up there. Very well. Oh, this is an awful use of space. I'm... Mm. But we have enough science now to research some stuff. season has started. Yay. Come on. Overflow. 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 We Oh god. Just do not break the game. We only have one unemployed beaver, but we're getting a lot of science now from our four inventors. So that's good. This, why does the water take so long to fill up? like the best part of this game is watching the water flow over things. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay. Speaking of water overflowing, there it goes right there. Beautiful. Oh, that guy's spinning kind of fast. Power output is 230 horsepower. Jesus. There's a lot of power coming from right there. I like it. Picasso. All right, let's see, how many unemployed beavers do we have? Not many. We only have one unemployed, but we have six children, so we got that going for us. We're gonna do a... Mm, this is going against everything I know right now, but let's see, let's see if we can't do... This is 100% gonna come industrial eventually. We just have to get everything kind of figured out for now. I would have to build doubles, wouldn't I? 
if I wanted to build a... Because we're going to need gears pretty soon. So if I wanted to put a gear workshop right here... Hmm. I would have to put... that right there and then the gear workshop will go on top of that kinda like that we don't really need the ones on the back of it save us some planks yep there we go alright so we'll get the gear workshop built and that will allow us to build some more advanced items a little bit slightly more advanced than what we're used to and get rid of that and we're going to just need to work on our plank production, unconnected building wear. Oh, did I not put a... I did a dumb, didn't I? Didn't put a road. Okay, there we go. So we have that. We have two unemployed beavers and five children. We have two jobs being... Brrr, English? Two jobs being made right now. Oh, boy. And then we're going to, I don't know like how big, I mean that's a really deep reservoir, it's deep dark water. There's going to be a lot of stuff to do there, hmm. especially once we move the district to there, the city district. We're going to have to do like a pyramid or something like that. Something like that. But hey, we've made it through four droughts, so we're doing pretty good. Not too bad. All of our water is full, though. I really think I should move the storage. We're going to move the storage. We're going to put some storage over here. And we're going to put none on everything because let's pause the game we just need to put none on everything because it makes it more efficient that way they don't try and even everything out because if you leave uh, if you leave desired full it just uh, they spend all their time trying to fill it up pretty much so you gotta go through and manually delete everything in the game that a storehouse can have. So we do that. But then we come over here and we do the same thing. And it just makes it much easier because now we're not worried about them trying to even out the warehouse. They just bring it to whatever warehouse is closest. There we go. Okay. And then in order to get to these, you're going to need path, road on the path, at least right there. Oh, you're not going to need this one. You're going to need path and staircase and path. There we go. So now we'll have housing, we'll have some storage on top of the housing, and that'll be double the storage over here, so we can get rid of that. Put in another pump next to our central business, or our central district center, whatever, yeah, district center. And that'll allow us to get some stuff out of the way. And they're just building more housing right now, that's perfect. So they cannot get to that. That's disappointing. So what if we did a... And then double plank. And then... Oh, why? No, not right there. And then put a path right here. And then said to get rid of all of you. Actually, we're going to unmark that and we're going to get a lumberjack yeah that guy we'll put one of those right here 
and he should have a pretty good range. Let me see what his range is. Nothing to do with it. Yep, that's because we didn't say to cut down trees. What is your range, my guy? Oh, nothing yet because that has to get built. Oh, well, that's fair. That's kind of my fault. We also need to get a builder's hut and a hauling post pretty soon. And that'll help us out a lot. Uh, this wheel is taking all of our logs right now. So let's high prioritize this entire little shenanigans down here. I'm bad about high prioritizing things. Everything becomes a high priority after like one day of it not being built. But we do have enough room here, so if we just kind of, can I build on top of that? I don't think it really matters now. So we can just do a another lumberjack right there, and that'll get built. And now the lumberjacks will produce twice the amount of wood because now we're starting to grow more trees than the lumberjack can deal with. One forester for every lumberjack is not a bad trade-off. These guys need to finish these things. Yep. This needs to get finished so he can start cutting these trees down. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I skipped through the night. I wish there was a skip night button. I guess I could just make them work longer days, but that's just not nice. I want to be a nice god. We still have two beavers that are not really doing much. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I mean, I have platforms now. I could put a forester over here, too. We're going to do that. We're going to put a forester right here. Which means I only need... Damn it. Uh, it means I need more platforms. I hate platforms. Or... Maybe I don't need more platforms. Where Forester? See, if I do that, it'll still get connected. Oh, that's not the right button. It'll still get connected to the business district. The question is, will it allow me to build out over here? without him having a pathway around. We'll still put a platform down. I don't know why I'm doing this. We can just research double platforms now. We're starting to get that research in. Now we can start researching stuff. And since a double platform really isn't that big of a deal, we'll just do it this way. Wait, let me see. What was the range on that again? And if I built a road and wrapped it around... Is it... Yes. So, once that is built, somebody can actively... Ugh, this thing was a bad idea. It's taken up all the logs that they've cut down. But now we have two of them. We still have three guys. Okay. Ah, boy. What about this? None of this is getting built right now. Okay. So we're going to need a builder's hut and a hauling post pretty soon. Builder's hut gives you additional builders. Hmm. Do I want to put it on top of something, or do I just want to, like, throw it down somewhere for now? 
Yeah, we'll just kind of throw it down right there for now. It's a little expensive, but ooh, now we have all the power. Well, you don't have as much power. This one has all the power. Now we're going to start building this other... Okay. Well, now we're going to start building some more industry. I forgot. 50 logs takes a while. Oh, now they're spinning at full. Kind of. If I got that out of the way, they'd spin a lot faster. Hmm. Can't build TNT yet, though. Which is fine. I suppose we'll just have to deal without... But if I do that... Hmm. I'm going to have to put a... Ooh. There we go. And we're just going to put desired all the way down, just like before. What was that noise? And then desired's going to go all the way to zero, just like before. That way, once the second one is built, they don't worry about it. Currently, I'm curious as to what the priorities are. Are they still... Ooh, priorities are being built right here, I see. That's almost done. Which means we'll have more trees coming in once this guy can get busy down here. Ooh, another three-day warning for the drought. Nice, 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 nice. I don't care anymore because things are starting to come along nicely. Hmm. Especially now that we have... I don't know why... Pause. We're going to do this the right way. We're just going to delete that. Put in a double platform now that that is a thing. Because they cost pretty much exactly the same when it comes to the more expensive resources. There we go. And then we're going to high pry that. There we go. Okay. Now instead of eight logs and six planks or whatever, now it's only four and four, which is quite nice. We also need to get a hauling post built because haulers are twice as strong. At, yeah, see, work, work, worker bonus strength, uh, plus a hundred percent. So the workers from this are twice as strong as the normal beaver, which means they carry twice the amount of goods. Which is incredible. They're quite beefy beefers. That guy's gonna go right there. Those are gonna go on top of that. So we'll just bonk this labor hauling post up here for now. And then we're going to get rid of the little thing of carrots that wraps around here. And mark it for paths and stuff. There's the pathing. Do, 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 do. Why do they go over here to hang out? Oh, a two-day drought. Are we in the dry season right now, or is it 1.5 days until the drought? Oh, 1.5 days until it. That's not even a big deal. Okay, there we go. So he now has access to everything down here. So now we can start cutting these trees from like right here over. There we go. Pretty sure that's the, uh, he can get one more strip of trees. Yeah, he can get like this strip right here. There we go. And that'll free up a little bit of space. And eventually, oh, we have 10 unemployed beavers. We need to get some other stuff built, like now. Do, 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 do. Well, this is getting built. This is also getting built. We're also going to build a, another lumberjack flag right here. I'm pretty sure that's, yeah, that'll be good enough. We can do two lumberjacks right here. They pretty much carry the exact same area. Cover, not carry. And this guy's already going at it, which means now we have more wood going everywhere. Beautiful. You're getting built. 
just requires planks now. He just left a log down there. Ugh. It's impossible to find good workers these days. And the drought starts. Yay. Yay! Drought has ended. Water should be filling up now. Any time now. There we go. Start using a plank system to measure the water. There's four planks in each of those. So right now we're at two of four. So we're half a block away from the top, which means the water will start flowing in like one should it just takes a while for the water to start flowing or to fill up because this is such a big reservoir and the water should start spilling over now and we have power yay uh so let's see what happens all right guys we're back it's been a few days uh, we're on cycle 5, day 17, we've moved some stuff around, and we're just kind of getting rid of some of the other stuff. This forester got moved over so we can have more access to this area over here. All of this got fixed down here. We got our builder's hut, we got our hauling post. So yeah, we're set up for a bunch of stuff in the next episode because now we have a bunch of research which really means we can start trying to figure out what we're going to do. Uh, and it's going to involve a lot of TNT. So yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye guys.